All right. I believe it's been a few weeks since I have come on and done any um, tax advising strategies for y'all. Last Tuesday, I was I did a lunch and learn um, and talked to a whole bunch of employees, W two employees, and. And then today I was actually at an expo for some irrigation and landscaping companies. Um, they were having an expo, so I was there. But last week I had a lot of really good questions that was coming up from the W-2 employees and I wanted to go ahead and answer those questions because I figure if they have them, other people will have them. And also if you have tax questions, go ahead and ask me anything Put in the comments what questions that you have, and then maybe once a month I'll go ahead and answer questions like this on the on the video. So one of the the questions that came up last week was if I am a high earner W two earner, and so is my husband, we pay a lot of money in taxes every single year. What can we do for tax strategies? Not much, like. If you don't have a business, if you don't do real estate, um, there is not many options available for to you in order to save on taxes. Um, you're basically limited to the Schedule A. And the main things that you can write off on the Schedule A is mortgage interest, property taxes, and taxes in general. It's limited to $10,000 a year. So if you're in Texas and have high property taxes and say you get to 10 grand or 12 grand, you can only take $10,000 and that's it. Um, and remember, sales and use tax goes into that number also. So be considering that. And sometimes there's strategies to make sure that you're getting the most that you can or not um, not going above that $10,000 when you're paying your taxes. And, and then the other thing that you can write off is deductions. Um, and if I did mention that if you're going to places like Goodwill or Warm or a place where you can drop off clothing, make sure that you're getting the little piece of paper that they give you. Um, it'll, it'll say their EIN, it'll say if they're a nonprofit, and it will have listed out what you donated. So go ahead and make sure you write down what you donate and then a dollar value with it, like what you would get if you were to have a garage sale or uh, what the used market value rate of it is. And that has to have a dollar amount at the bottom. If you turn it into us or any other tax professional, you know, they're not going to be able to use it because you have to assign a value to it. And it has to be reasonable and realistic. Um, so... And then the standard deduction is like, if you're married, filed jointly, it's like $29,000 this year, give or take just a little bit. So if those three numbers do not go above the $29,000 standard deduction, you're not going to be able to itemize. So if you want to be able to reduce your taxes, like, I'm like, I guess you could give more. Um, that would that would bring you up over that, and then you could take the itemized deductions instead of the standard deduction. Um, another idea is if you own a home and want to put on solar panels or do energy efficient um, t tax savings, like there's some credits out there. It's very little. It's not really worth it. Um, but those were other ideas out there. I, I was talking to a guy today and I'm like, there are just so many strategies that we can do if you have a business. And I throw out ideas like, well, you can do Uber driving. You can do Uber Eats. Um, like if you have those, uh, schedule C on your, you know, uh, sole prop on your tax return, there's things that we can start to do. I even, I'm like, do you like to fish? Do you like, you know, would you be interested in taking people fishing on the weekend that come in? Um, or I'm like, then we can hire your kid, um, to wash the boat on the weekends. Like in, so it's just different things like that, that got my mind going trying to help the, the guy today I was talking with but yeah if you're a w2 earner and really don't don't have a business or real estate or anything like that it makes it very difficult to be able to use any tax strategies to write off um, so the second question I I will mention that they asked is when I mentioned the donations they're like well all around town there's like those like dumpster looking things where uh, I think it's like Susan G. Coleman where you can drop off clothes and it gets donated. He's like, well, how do I write that off 
if I'm donating clothes into there. And I'm like, you can't. It's going to be all the goodness of your heart because if there's no one there to man them, which there's not, there's no one there to give you the piece of paper that says to be able to fill out that says that you gave a tax donation. And technically, their their piece of paper is supposed to match yours. Um, so th that was another question that they had. Um, and the best advice that I can have, like if you make a lot of money and you still are paying a lot in taxes, that means that you just don't have enough being withheld from your tax return. And what I would do with that is I would go to HR, go fill out a new W-4, and say if you owe um, $1,200 during the year at the end of the year when you file your taxes. I'm just trying to make an easy number. Well, if you divide that by, say, if you get paid twice a month, and there's, so there'd be 24 pay periods a month, you divide 1200 by 24, and that would be $50 a paycheck that you want to have withheld extra from your, from your W-2 each week, or from your, your paycheck each week. Um, so that was kind of my suggestion for that. All right, if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and put them in the comments, um, and we will, we will, go back and answer them. I hope this was helpful to you if you're, you're a W-2 earner and you're trying to figure out how to save on taxes. Um, all right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.